So, I promised you in my bedroom tour that I'd share what my closet looks like inside. It's a tiny walk-in closet of my bedroom, and when I came to view the place, one of the previous owner's children actually slept in there. And it really is quite tiny. That's inner city living for you. In this video, I'll also be sharing what's in the wardrobe in the entry hall, because it's all connected. And this is actually the winter edition. Add a few lightweight shirts and remove some jackets and you have the summer version. Clothes that are not currently in the actual apartment are stored in my storage space in the basement. I'll link a video about that in the description, but we're talking 6-10 to 10 items that are being switched out. It's not like I have Neiman Marcus down there. I'm what you would call a uniform dresser. I basically wear the same thing always, with a few exceptions. So, why do this uniform dressing thing? I'm actually quite interested in fashion as a concept, and I can tell my Chanel's from my Armani's, Acne's, Bella Freud's and Princess Schooler's, but I'm not willing to spend the time or effort on the hard work that is dressing fashionably. I basically don't want to have to think much about what I wear. I like for it to look up to date and somewhat in style, but that's it. I want to take the guesswork out of getting out of the house, basically. This is how I set up my closet spaces and how I've organized them. The walk-in closet was completely empty when I moved in, not a clothing rail to be seen. Like I said, it's tiny in there, but the ceilings are tall so I wanted to utilize the space to its full potential and installed an alpha system. I'm not a huge fan of the look of alpha, but the function is fantastic, which is why I chose it again. All this hangs from the top horizontal rail, so there are only 4 screws in total to hang the whole thing. I opted for shelves and a hanging rail. At the bottom I keep these rolling bins that I've had for years. At the top I store some rarely used things in scoop bins from Ikea. I also have three hooks at the back to keep things that I'll wear again before washing, like jeans and loungewear. I like to keep all hangers the same because A it looks nice and neat and B it looks nice and neat. On the shelf below the rail I keep a pair of scissors to snip off any tags, a cashmere comb thingy to depill my sweaters and my cozy socks. On this shelf is also a fleece blanket, because this is where Bonus likes to spend time behind the clothing if people other than my son Villa and I are around. On the side of the alpha system I keep my ironing board and a step stool to be able to reach those top shelves. As for my choice in clothing, I mostly wear neutrals. I don't like silky materials and prefer cotton and other natural fibers, especially for underwears and tops. I do make an exception for function wear and fleece. Oh, and also black pants that don't otherwise tend to stay black. If I find something that works well for me in terms of fit and that I really like, I buy multiples. Some items that I have multiples of are grey t-shirts, black t-shirts, white cotton undies, grey night shirts, etc. I'm sure my colleagues think I have a t-shirt, a pair of jeans and two sweaters in total, because they keep seeing me in the same stuff every day basically. I also tend to buy the same in several exciting colors like I mentioned before, so for instance a sweater I like I'll buy in grey and black and maybe navy. I know, it's all very wild and crazy. As for shoes I usually go for classics and I'm a repeat shopper as well as a multiple shopper. That means that I've bought the same Stan Smith sneakers three times, the same Nike Roshi three times, and I'm about to buy my third pair of the same Grey Shepherd slippers. I do this because I know what I like and I know what works for me. I hang most of my clothes to keep them from wrinkling, but during summer I will store the woolly knits flat so they don't stretch unnecessarily. The clothes that I do fold are pants, loungewear, PJs and nightshirts, and some long sleeve t-shirts. Yeah. Underwear I keep in these IKEA scoob bins that slide out like little drawers. Behind these doors is where you access the fuse box and other utilities for the apartment. It's not great placement because it means you can't really use the space for much, but I'm currently using it to store my camera equipment. You don't see it here because I'm using it to shoot this obviously, but there is usually a couple of tripods, a studio light and some other gear leaned up in here. This is the wardrobe in the hallway. This is where I keep my coats, my warmest sweaters and shoes. 
I also keep my exercise gear in there, as well as accessories like hats, gloves, scarves and umbrellas. I also keep my socks here by my shoes and there's room for shoe care too. Bill has a drawer in the closet for when he comes over, with some extra t-shirts, underwear and PJs, and his robe and a woolly sweater hang on the rail above so he can get cozy. At the top are two boxes labeled winter and summer. In them I store smaller items that are used in those seasons only. So my warm hats and gloves will be stored in the winter one come spring and I'll bring the summer items down. I also keep my sewing gear in a box for easy access if I need to mend something. During weekends my work bag also stays in here so I don't see when I don't have to. And that's how I store my clothes and organize my closets. If you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up to let me know and subscribe for more. I'll see you in the next video.